Hey, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to dual boot Windows and Backtrack. To do this, you will first need a copy of Windows installed in your computer, and you will also need to download and burn to a disk a copy of the Backtrack Live CD. Okay, let's open up a shell, and we're going to type in mount. This will display all the mounted hard drives. And over here we have HDA1, which we need to disconnect. So we're going to type in U mount forward slash MNT forward slash HDA1. That should unmount it. To double check, let's just type in mount again. And there you see it's not there anymore. Okay, let's select QT parted. That will open up the QT parted program. Let's select HDA. And let's right click your Windows partition and select resize. And this will shrink it down. Let's hit gigabytes and make sure just to leave enough room for your windows without overwriting files. I have 50 gigs, so I'm going to change mine to 10 gigs. Okay, now let's hit file, commit. Okay, now that you've freed up some space, let's add some partitions. Let's X this off. Okay, now let's type in fdisk forward slash dev forward slash hda. And now let's hit N. Let's hit P. And we're going to start with partition number 2. Okay, let's hit enter for default. Now let's hit plus 64M. And then hit enter. Okay, now let's type in N again. P. 3. Now let's hit enter for default. Plus 2048M. Now let's hit N. P. And it's going to automatically select your fourth partition. Enter. And enter. Now let's type in T. 3. 82 A 2 Okay, now let's hit W to write it. Before writing it, just to double check, let's hit P to view the partitions. And everything looks good here, so let's hit W. Okay, now let's type in M K E 2 F S space forward slash D E V forward slash H D A 2. Okay, now M K S W A P space forward slash D E V forward slash H D A three. Okay, now S W A P O N space forward slash D E V forward slash H D A three. Okay, now M K R E I S E R F S dv forward slash hda4 let's select y for yes okay now let's type in mkdir forward slash mnt forward slash and backtrack and whatever version 3 okay mount forward slash dev forward slash hda4 Space forward slash MNT forward slash backtrack three forward slash enter. Okay, now MKDIR space forward slash MNT forward slash backtrack three forward slash boot. Now mount forward slash dev forward slash HDA two space forward slash mnt forward slash back back three forward slash boot okay now we're going to copy all the files cp space dash dash preserve space dash capital r space forward slash open brace bin comma dev comma home comma pen test comma 
root, comma, USR, comma, boot, comma, ETC, comma, LID, comma, OPT, comma, SBIN, comma, VAR, close brace, space, forward slash, MNT, forward slash, backtrack, three, forward slash. Now we'll start copying all the files. This could take a while, so just hang on. Okay, when it's finished copying and there are no errors, type in mkdir space forward slash mnt forward slash backtrack 3 forward slash open brace mnt comma tmp comma proc comma sys close brace. Okay, then chmod space 1777 space forward slash mnt forward slash backtrack 3 forward slash tmp forward slash then mount space dash t space proc space proc space forward slash mnt forward slash b backtrack 3 forward slash proc Okay, now M O U N T space dash O space find space forward slash D E V space forward slash M N T forward slash backtrack three forward slash D E V forward slash and now C H root space forward slash M N T forward slash back track 3 forward slash space forward slash b i n forward slash bash enter type in nano space forward slash e t c forward slash l i l o dot c o n f we're going to scroll down with the down arrow boot we change that to d e v h d a okay then we're going to go down to root I'm going to type in HDA4 and we're going to label this whatever you want. We'll call this one backtrack 3. Okay, scroll down and after the Linux bootable partition configure ends, we're going to add, we're going to write in other equals forward slash DEV forward slash HDA1. We're going to enter, we're going to type in label equals, I'm going to name this one whatever we want, I'm going to call it Windows XP, because that's the Windows version I'm using, enter, table equals forward slash dv forward slash hda, and then we're going to hit control o, and then we're going to hit enter, and control x to leave, then we're going to type in lilo space dash v, and if you get no errors, that means everything was good. And let's type in exit and reboot. All goes well. It will reboot into a Lilo screen, which you could choose either backtrack or Windows. Okay, here's the screen. Now we could choose either backtrack or Windows XP. Okay, first I'm going to boot into backtrack. Okay, and over here we're going to type in root and T O O R and star text. Now let's reboot. Let me show you Windows booting up also. Okay, now let's type in Windows XP. Now Windows is going to detect that there's something done to the hard drive, so it's going to perform a check this utility. Nothing wrong with it, it will take a couple minutes. And there you have it.
Windows XP and Backtrack both dual booting on the same computer. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to ask and please contribute by donating. Thanks a lot. See ya.